Hi everybody, welcome to my big tidy up. My name is Dee Dee. Thanks for joining me today and happy new year. I hope you all enjoyed a wonderful relaxing holiday season and you're ready to kick off 2023 with me. Now today what I got cooking, I'm headed into my closet. And if you've been with me before, you know this isn't the first time I've headed in there, but today I'm gonna to make some major long lasting changes. First of all, I'm gonna do a major declutter. I'm also gonna be moving things around and I'm also gonna be switching out my thick bulky hangers to some ultra thin hangers. I finally got on board and I'm gonna switch my hangers. And I'm gonna be taking care of some drawers in this dresser back here that have gotten way out of control since the last time you've seen them. Now, the entire month of January, I am gonna be focusing on decluttering areas in my home and doing organizing resets for different areas. I wanna start this year off right, and I'm glad you're right here to do it with me. So let's get this year started and let's get tidy. Well, friends, I know we just got through all of the major holidays, but it feels like it's a holiday again here. You know, like Groundhog Day, that movie where the same day keeps repeating itself. Well, I know I've been in this closet before, and I'm back in here again to try to get this closet under control. Yes, I am going to switch the hangers, and I'm going to move some things around, but honestly, it doesn't matter how I tweak my system, if I come up with a new system, if I don't get rid of some of these clothes and give myself some air to breathe in this closet, I'm going to be back to square one again, and we'll be back revisiting this closet in no time at all. And I'm not even going to try to tell you that I'm wearing all these clothes because we all know I'm not. All you have to do is take a quick peek at these dusty hangers and know that all of these clothes are not getting used. Well, as if the closet wasn't a big enough project today, I have these three drawers waiting for me as well. This first one is my sock drawer and I wanna get all my socks moved over to the right side. I know it's a lot of socks. I'll explain later. I won't justify it, but I will explain. And this second drawer, I did this drawer before, and if you guys remember, I got these dividers and I rolled all of my yoga pants and my leggings. Well, it was working until I got too many in there. And then I have my jeans at the bottom and those really stay organized. The problem is I've added other things down to that drawer as well. Okay, full disclosure, I do have a few items tucked away in this top drawer over here in the guest room. They're really just summer items, but I do want to keep all my clothes together. So once I get done with the closet, I'm going to come get these and sort through these as well. Well, before I start pulling everything out and it becomes complete chaos, I thought I would show you the hangers that I did decide on. I did go ahead and go with the Mainstay Slim Plastic Hangers from Walmart. They're the ultra thin. And you know, I did a lot of research. I looked on Amazon, Target, I went to Home Goods, Ross, so many different places, and this really was gonna be the best bet for me. Now, some of my friends did have the black velvet hangers, but here in Western Kansas, a couple of them have had problems keeping them clean as well. So I decided to go with something like this. It's ultra thin, has just a little bit of a groove here. I've tried some of these and I've had some friends that have tried these. They haven't had any problems with things slipping off. So this is the way I went. It was more economical. They were less than $3 a package and I was gonna need quite a few. So here's my plan. My plan is to start with the top rack, which is my spring and summer clothes. I'm just gonna bring everything out and then I'm just gonna start dividing everything up into two piles, a keep pile and then another pile for discard or donate. Now, if you are new to my big tidy up, you might not realize that this will be my third major declutter of this very same closet. Now, I am not throwing shade on myself. I am very proud of how far I have come. I have gotten rid of so many items. And if I look back a year or two ago, 
It's a major drastic change. So I am a work in progress and I'm proud of the work that I'm doing. But I did have to ask myself some hard questions, like why is it so difficult for you to get rid of your clothes? Because those of you that have been with me a while, you know I declutter all the time. I don't have any problems getting rid of different things throughout my home, but when it comes to my clothes, it's a struggle. I've come to the conclusion that part of my struggle comes from the fact that I consider these to be part of my professional wardrobe. These were the clothes I wore before I retired, before I started my big tidy up, before I got the opportunity to be more active in my grandchildren's lives. So here's what I'm thinking in my non-professional psychologist opinion, of course. But what I'm thinking is when I'm getting rid of the clothes, it's not just getting rid of the clothes, it's closing the chapter on that part of my life. And I think it's okay to be a little melancholy about a change in your life or a chapter closing, but that's all right because this chapter I'm in now, it was worth waiting for. Well, the top rack is emptied out and I've done my first initial declutter. And here is the first go round, everything on the floor. And I'm just gonna donate them on the hangers. It'll be easier for me to transport them and I'm sure places could use hangers. But here, all of these things I'm still keeping. So I definitely probably need to go through it one more time and then I'll just switch out the hangers. I thought I'd leave everything in stacks and switch the hangers out like that. It'll be a lot easier and faster, I think. Now it definitely goes without saying that I am no professional on keeping my closet decluttered, but one thing that I have been doing the last couple of years that has really helped is doing a small declutter after each season. Then it doesn't build up so much because I know this will be a good size declutter, but it definitely will be smaller than the one before, and that one was smaller than the one before that. Oh my goodness, guys, look at the difference in the two racks. The top rack with the new hangers and a good declutter, and then the bottom rack still to go, and the other side, but look at the difference. Now, I will say this is gonna be harder for me to thin the herd <laughs> on this rack, because honestly, I love fall and winter clothes much better. So I have more of them. I love good sweatshirts and soft sweaters. So it'll be harder for me to declutter this. And I also have some sports team stuff down here. You know, I love my teams, but I am committed to doing it. And my goodness, just the looks of this top shelf is giving me inspiration. So it's back to work. Well, just as I suspected, this is harder. I have gone through it. The closet is empty on the lower rack, and this is the only pile I have for declutter. So I'll put these on the floor with the rest of this stuff, 
and then I will go through these stacks and see if I can get rid of some more things going through it the second time. Well, here's an update. I've got one side of the closet done. The declutter pile is getting bigger. I was able to get 40 items off the bottom rack, but I do have this to do now. And I did bring my sweatshirts over here on this side, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have room because I'm gonna do some serious decluttering of these slacks and some of these dressier items that haven't been used for a very, very long time. Well, I've got the closet pretty much under control, but I may have to switch up what I thought I was gonna do because I found more leggings in the closet. Um, I do need to go through all of these, but the problem really isn't my jeans, I don't think, because I don't have that many. I keep them organized, but I do have a lot of leggings, different exercise pants, and when I was rolling them up and I had them divided up, with these dividers, it was working well, but I think I'm just gonna kind of declutter, see what I've got, see what I can get rid of. I may move the jeans, maybe they need to go. I brought these containers, remember when I got these from Ollie's, and I could put my jeans and fold those like this upright where I could see the pockets and they may go into the closet, or I do have another option and that's using another one of these little drawer sets that I had in the My Big Tidy Up closet. So I think I'll declutter first and figure out the rest later. Then once to show you my intention, my brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands Shout to me. 
Well, I've got the jeans up here and I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna give it a try. I think it's gonna work out well, especially where it's not real heavy. I can just pull these totes down if I need to or if I can't see well enough. But I do have this empty spot over here and I don't wanna bring down just a couple of purses to fill it. I wanna keep them all together. So I do have an extra one of these containers. Actually, I have two. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all the denim capris and shorts that I have. I don't have a lot. And I'm gonna store those up here so that all of my denim is together. I did have it down in this bottom drawer, but since I've got this extra container, I think I'm gonna move the denim and keep it all together. Last thing on my list today, declutter and organize my sock drawer. Now I know I do have a ridiculous amount of socks. I like socks. I like fun socks, athletic socks, but here's how they got way out of control. Two times, I hate to even admit that, two times I went on two separate vacations and I remembered to pack everything. I packed everything we possibly could need, all of our electronics, everybody's vitamins, you name it, I packed it, except I forgot my socks. Not only once on vacation, but twice. So I had to buy socks on vacation and that's why these are a little bit out of control. But even without that, I probably still had too many. Well, here we go. Here is the aftermath of this huge declutter. The closet is done, the drawers are done, and from the looks of it, put a fork in her. <laughs> the room is done too, but that's okay. That's all part of it. I did have just two hangers left over, which is good because that will help keep me honest. But here is everything I was able to get rid of today. This really was a full wardrobe declutter because I got rid of a little bit of everything. I got rid of socks and shoes, sandals that I didn't use over the summertime, and the most painful sacrifice, yoga pants and leggings. I got rid of a lot of those, t-shirts. I got rid of a lot of accessories. And you know, I decluttered these last time and I haven't used any of them since I decluttered last time, so it's time for them to go. I got rid of dress clothes, everyday clothes, sports clothes. You name it, I feel like I got it all across the board. So I'm gonna run it down to the garage, kind of count it up, because you know I'm always curious how much I get. And then I'll show you what we ended up with today. Well, here's what's leaving the house today. Seven pair of leggings, seven pair of shoes, 25 pair of socks, 71 shirts, three shorts, three dresses, three skirts, 13 pair of pants or capris, one pair of pajamas, nine accessories for a total of 142 items. And then if you go ahead and add in the 162 hangers, it's a grand total of 304 items leaving my home today.
Well, friends, that's it for today. The closet has been taken care of. The drawers have been taken care of. I am so glad to have those off my list. The thing is, I have a long list. So I'm going to be doing a lot of decluttering and organizing in January to start my year off right. I hope this video inspired you, encouraged you, motivated you maybe to tackle some of those projects that didn't get done in 2022 because I know I have a list of things that I didn't get accomplished. But it's a new day, it's a new year, and we can get them done. I appreciate you supporting my channel. Please take care of yourself. And until I see you in the next one, stay tidy.